Imagine you crash landed on an island, surrounded by horrifying creatures, nowhere to escape, and 100 survivors trying to beat the game. Will I survive with just three lives? Well, in the next few days, that'll be put to the test. Starting from day one, within the crash site I spawned in. As I awoke from what seemed like a nightmare, I looked around my surroundings to find the wreckage of a plane I had just been on. Luckily for me, I wasn't the only one here, marking Okram and Ginny as two of my teammates since I've teamed with them in past events. But there's chests over there. Plane. There is? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay. Uh, Anything? Oh, I was eluded. No. Oh, bruh. I think this it was is a bathroom, looted. bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess <laughs> After gathering some supplies from the wreckage, we headed out to explore our unfamiliar surrounding. It was misty, covered in strange plants and fungi. And some of the plants even ended up hurting us. That was many berries ow, as you- ow ow ow, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, what the heck? What? That was a- Wither rose. Uh, Ooh. Wanna go down there? Hell no. I don't know if it's oh, smart to do this <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Okram. Now you got it. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. You do? No. Nighttime came by very fast, and it wasn't long before we plunged into darkness. Yo, yo, it's turned nighttime. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, it's God. night. It's night. Oh, no. oh, we gotta go. I'm dying. I'm gonna head to the plane. Oh, my God. Oh, there's things out here. I can't see. Dude. Boost me. Yes. Hey. Bruh. Oh, I got up this thing. If I thought things couldn't have gotten any worse, after our plane literally crashed, we lost our friend Marco to the woods here. Marco? Kevin? Okay, you're alive. Hi. <laughs> I don't know. I lost him. Where's Marco? Where's him? Marco? Wait, there's something. There's something. Something Hello. out there. Oh, hell no, nah, bruh. Uh, yeah, oh, it's I'm just floating. Gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going like to I think it's safe in Oh, wait. Is it really safe in here? Someone got stuck. Oh, it's in here. And he's fighting it. Marco? Wasn't he with you? No. Someone's stuck. As oh, God. Oh, I don't want to go paper. outside in the night, though. Paper. Right? Like, that'd be. I don't want to go outside in the night. What's the worst that could happen if we, you know, go look for Marco? We can get lost like Marco? <laughs> 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 Someone died. Someone died. Oh, no. Died. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's daytime. So much junk out here. Oh. Oh, we gotta find Marco, bro. Okay. Go on an expedition. Where did you guys oh lose him? Gosh. Um, you know that hole we dragged him on to go down? <laughs> Wait, he went down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're kidding. Due to us being separated, we feared the worst. But we didn't have any time to think. As a creeper came out of nowhere, after running as fast as we could from the creeper, we caught up to our missing friend, Marco. And what stood in front of us made us all freeze from terror. It was Hero Brian. I thought he didn't exist. How was he even here? Beyond frightened, we all ran for our lives, hearing this strange noise as we barely escaped. We decided that we needed to take a vote about where we wanted to set up camp, as we desperately needed somewhere to stay. I say we make it like water, like near water. Really? Yeah. Mm, but I feel like there's gonna be water monsters. I mean, have you seen? But yeah, I know around? one thing. Some of the monsters are faster on water. Ow! I'm so low. What if we make it underground? Like a little bunker. Can't sky bases sky and base. bunkers. But no, papers? both of those aren't allowed. Papers explode if they just see you. What? We could make a base well, yeah. in the air. The options were either to go out into the unknown and set up camp out there, or stay in the plane and make a base out of it. Which was my idea, by the way. I was all for the plane. No way I was gonna go out there unprepared again. It was decided. Me and the few others wanted to make a base at the plane. So we started to collect some more materials to fortify it. And build up the walls till it's something as sturdy as the wall I punched a hole into the other day. I think we could start by removing these. Marco? Where is he? What the hell? You have any wood? I guess Wood. Um, a bit. Yeah. No. I think we could start by fortifying this and then we can expand, you know? So I think the okay. first thing we should like remove these seats so we have more space. I think I think we need to make a farm as well. Otherwise we won't Yeah, work. does anyone want to work on that? You wanna work on that? Yeah, I could work on that. Agents, I look you wanna explore the, okay. the cave. Fine. You're gonna die. Dude, 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 dude. We don't okay. No risk, no reward, bro. Oh my god. Let's first of all, I think we should just build up a base and get some food going, then we explore. I, I want to too. Ah! Maybe I don't want to explore anymore after that. <laughs> what? 
Are you, are you good? Yeah, don't keep it checking on me, jackass. Here, I'll try to go get some stone for us. Okay, be careful. Oh, oh. The spores are deadly. The spores are deadly. Really? I think so. I kept I kept getting hurt on them. In the okay, bathroom. So I found out some. I found out some things. I found out some things. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. What? Yeah. So oh, remember those spore remain. things? Yeah. Human remains give you virus, and they also infect other things. So um, I saw I saw another human thing that was infected that was trying to kill me. Okram started talking about some sort of infection and accused someone of having it. We thought he was like a crazy old lady, so we were considering him being exiled and thrown into a pit because we thought if there was really someone infected and he found out about it, he might be infected too. That's at least what we were thinking at that time. But out of nowhere, Okram started bleeding. Realized this infection that he was yapping to us about was real. We were all in a lot of trouble. We didn't know what the infection was or how to stop it at all. His challenge was looking slimmer and slimmer by the second. We didn't know if Okram would be fully infected, but it's better to be safe than sorry, leading us to quarantining him into the plane's cargo pit, which is where our team sent vicious things to sleep, such as zombies. Yeah, he was on the same level as them. After that, I went to the lookout point to see how much danger we were really in. In my opinion, we were already cooked. But if we play our cards right, we could potentially survive this. Oh you, no. You you attack, bro? Oh, I already have a shield. Why did I make one? Yeah, we have shields. We started out I'll with them. It, dude, make a door, yeah. dude. You're gonna let them inside. You're gonna kill off the people in here. There's two of them. What's that noise? That's what? the that's the infected. That's that? the infected. That is not an infected. That is a knight! That is a knight! Yo! <laughs> Oh, we got this. We got. Ow! Ow! Oh. Ow! Ironically, I too get infected by okra. Oh, I'm infected. There's a guy with I'm infected. poison in it. I was panicking. <laughs> oh, I actually might die. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm good. Wow. Thinking that this was a death sentence, this was gonna be my end. But it turns out that the infection only lasted for 20 to 30 seconds upon contact. And that concluded our first day here stranded on Horror Island. In this horror mod pack challenge, the longer we survive, the deadlier and deadlier it gets. So we need to prepare for the absolute worst. My goals here would be to slay all the major bosses, be the strongest team, and lastly beat the fungal infection in invading the world that begins a two we decided to head out in the morning for an area-wide expedition for some resources there were a lot of magma slimes for some reason we didn't know if we would just need them for the future but hey y'all ever just wonder what magma cream tasted like this looks so edible while continuing through the forest we spotted a wendigo which looked like it was really looking for that smoke and right when we got comfortable it brutally slaughtered our teammates chase and rocket so we decided to hit the dash there is no way in hell that we would beat that thing in our current state. While running back, we found a new player who hopped on late, who was trying to leave the plane crash safe haven of ours. This is guy an idiot. Leaving out right now was basically suicide. I'm kind of guilty letting him go off like that though, but I wasn't gonna stop him. What do you think this is, a charity? After seeing how dangerous it was outside, he came back to us, changing his mind. We were all here surviving together as a group after all. I showed him around a bit and took him to our lookout looking down at all the things that could rip our organs to shreds makes me sometimes wonder will there ever really be any hope for us at the end of this optimistic as a fish stuck in a net meant to be made into sushi i kept my hopes up in the morning eok went out to get some resources as well as to find a new place to live in i guess her humble little abode in the plane crash base wasn't enough for their needs and kind of weird though the weirdest part about this was that he wasn't alone he befriended some of the people on team plane and took off in a hurry. It's there to hide. There's not really much out here. It's pretty barren. During the time Eok was gone from the plane, he left something inside. A face hugger, which had caught itself on my face. I get we'll turned see, into we'll an see, alien. We'll 40 seconds. Hey, bro. What's tell up? my family I love him. Tell Marco I hate him. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Hey, Marco. Hey, take this plane team to the top, bro. I got it too. I will. I'll, I will. I'll win. It went up. Hey, we're number one. We're number one. What's up? Okay, it's back to 40 seconds for some reason. I'm watching. I'm Do watching. Do I just it. have to talk to you? Do I just have to talk to you? Maybe, bro. Go up if I talk to you. All right, I'm just not gonna move. Oh. Maybe some movement. Movement? You don't wanna move? Yeah. Wait, 30 move seconds. Real quick? Oh, God. 25. 21. No. And let's count down. Let's count down, though. Let's count down. A 10, a 10, a 10, a 10. It went up to 30. Wait. That 14. 13. 12, nine, 11, 11, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. 1. Are you there? 
It's at zero. It's at zero. It's not doing anything. Hey, it says seven. It says seven more seconds. Seven more seconds. Six, five. I'm, I'm taking it off from you. Four, okay. three. All right, let me pull it off. Let me pull it off. And don't do that. That could be medical. Oh. That's not oh. And after five minutes, what's honestly felt like an hour, I blew up from the inside out, leading to my first official death. Two lives to go. Although things look sweet at the time, you should have realized what type of person Eopo was. For a reason unknown to us, he blew up the plane. We had to quickly patch the spots that were destroyed, so anything outside wouldn't come in. Worst of it all would be the infection. We couldn't let that damn fungi infect our home. That's where the infection derived from. But after this incident, someone had to take charge of home base while we explored before Eopoke's team looted everything. So we elected Kevin as our leader. Kevin and the rest of the team went out to recruit more people, which was good. Maybe if we got lucky, we can make an S tier team with some of these new recruits. I thought we were safe now with us having a leader. So I went to get food in the meantime. It all went south when we lost our friend Minnie at the hands of Kevin. While I was AFK, by the way, our team was dropping like flies and we had to do something about it. Otherwise, there would be no team left to survive. When I joined back, I caught up with Kevin, who told me about EO trying to recruit more of our own teammates to join him and his cause. Sounds a bit political. All right, EO. EO has done a lot. So a side objective for us is to keep tabs on him in the future, just in case he was up to some something devious. Later that day, me and a new recruit, Tame, went on a mining trip, discovering where this fungal infection even came from because it seemed like it just sprouted out of nowhere. Oh, oh, oh. Be oh. careful, be careful. Be careful not to bump into anything. You good? World. It actually started all the way down here in the mines. You stay it's okay, it's down okay, there? it's okay. You... Yeah, I want to go down. Right. We just have to, like, remove right, these. Down. Oh, this, it's all so spory down here. I know, that's what I was saying. Oh, we got this, we got this. All hey, right, never back down, never what? Never give up. Yeah, gross. There's so many of these. All right. Yeah, I think it's the bigger mushrooms that hurt you. Wait, Whoa. You yeah. Okay. Dude, check this what is out. That? <laughs> You wanna go there? Or what? You wanna go? Yeah. Let's get a safe way down though. I don't wanna like rush it or anything. We have a big axe? Yeah. You got one for me? Yeah. <laughs> this place looked like it's natural habitat. Look, look how creepy this is. But honestly, I've been having a lot of fun on this mod pack. Horror in general was one of my favorite genres since I was like a little kid. So getting to play a mod pack, which you guys could find in the Discord link below, has been kind of like reliving those early memories of mine where I'd first find out about horror. It was mainly through movies though, but you know what? I lived vicariously through those characters. All right, leave me alone. But back to the cave exploration we were doing we went further and further into this cave we were seeing things that weren't supposed to be in normal minecraft at all so after getting really really spooked out we went back up letting the planes team know about our findings we ended up recruiting a survivor named crast and big bream or very important people later on oh look take this take this take that and uh figure out a way to protect the base okay the base oh, is the plane yep yep take all of that take all okay, that there so we go, when we go, when ah. we go mining, there's a muscle about yay wide and yay high it's gonna eat us we gotta be very careful My who's good with wait bug. who was the one that was good with quirk he's not here right when things were on track one of our teammates had gotten close to his death um guys we have a problem ow ow oh, oh. run it's inside it's inside kill it use our brain power use the brain power guys Hi yeah. Yeah, must not let this thing spread. Urgh. Basically ran out of lives, and he only had one left. So he needed our help, or it'd be over for him. His name was Averix. We were sent coordinates, which we followed. It ended up leading to Eok's team. Apparently, Averix was spying on Eok's team for Kevin. It had almost gotten caught, so he had to flee into the caves. And we already now know how risky that is, which was all the more reason to rescue him. While excavating, this is mine down. So we'll, we'll patch it up. Sorry, we'll patch it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, what happened? There's what stuff happened? in here. There's stuff in here. I somehow fell deep into a cave. I was basically trapped there, but Kevin came in clutch and rescued me. I thought I was safe until I ended up getting poisoned. What kind of creature poisons you down here? I was close to dying, so I hid inside of a wall. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. W teammate. Yep. That's that's me. I'm a W teammate. All right. Let me be. I don't got a sage. All right. I don't got a pocket sage. What do you want from me? But while I was healing, Kevin was getting chased, and the only way she could escape was by going even deeper 
deeper into the cave that Avrix was stuck in. Now we got two people stuck in there. Look at that. The cave was too dangerous to be in at the time. But Kevin saved me. So I had to return the favor. Kevin's still alive. That means she's just in there, dude. Oh, what? Yeah, he's stuck, bro. You should worship the floating leg spike. I don't, I don't like this. this. I just got a message. Oh, shoot, dude. All right, you know what? Okay, we're going to have to walk this up? way off. I'm going to go in, bro. I'm going to heal up. Ow. Oh, dude, we can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. Get in, 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 get in. You have light. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Kevin's the, Kevin's the plane team's leader. All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a full heal. Does anyone have bread? Anyone got bread? What's up? Uh, yeah, I have some bread. I only have five though. Can I get one? You want one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it, take it. Don't come after me. You just said not to come after her. Nah, let's, let's keep going. All right. There's a bit of a problem I'm facing at the moment. That's so ominous. Oh, is that her over there? Is that her over there? I think so. She's just deeper in the cave. Okay, wait. I'm almost done healing. All right. Yeah, my pickaxe is low. I can't. We're gonna make a run for it. Worst case scenario, we do this. What we did here. Okay. okay got a little you. thingy. I'm okay. You. I'm eating bread to fully regen me. Wait, let me eat my bread too. Hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Eat up. All right. Three, <sighs> two, one, go. Go. Go, 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 go. Rushing forward to rescue her from the depths of the cave. And at last, we made it. Holy, okay. I'm going. <laughs> hey, guys. Yo. Yo. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Oh. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Go, 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 go. Hold tea, hold tea. Uh, what happened? I came back for you. you okay. Okay, so my blood spawned something, but I think it died in the walls that I made. So, Your thank what? God. Something what is that? spawned in. What is that? Ew. Oh, God. Yo, yo, I hear whispering. Something's talking to me. Oh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. Hey, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, it's our sanity. It's our sanity. Wait, where's Averix? Is he not in here? Oh, why level? I don't even know. He's not even here. We're in the cave. You're in. Added to that, we mined around and searched for Averix. And at last, we saved yo. him. Yo. Averix. We found you! Oh my god. Yo, do you have food? Do you have food? Oh I have I have barely any food oh left. God. Oh my god. god. Oh my god. I, oh my god. I need to get out of here. I am almost dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was stressful. Jeez. I I have basically nothing. I only got a torch and the food you gave me to my name. Oh. Evan, see your username up here. Oh, go, nice. go, 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 It's in the walls, it's, it's in the walls, it's in the walls. What do you mean it's, it's in the walls? It's walls, it's facing What the, the hell? We got him, we got him, we can leave, we can get back to the plane. You actually did? Wow. Yeah. Hey. Wow. All right, we made it out. Wait, let's see if the, the other team has any food. I can't see, I got like the darkness know. effect. I'm gonna oh. go. After this, we talked to Eok's team, calling for a truce. What's up? And the shock Hello, alert. sir. Hello, hey. we got our friend. Yeah. Would you like a tour of uh, Haven though? Our, our nice yeah, I'm down. Semblance of society in this <clears throat> apocalyptic I'm gonna go world. Make a wall. Sure. Sure. Where to? <clears throat> I can't no. see my eye. I'm blind. So oh. <laughs> Here is basically. I mean, it's not much now. We're working on mm -hmm. it. There's our palace, which is basically just my home and basement. <laughs> I see. Yo, where did my carrot go? This is nice. Yeah, I'd say it's a bit. I met you before, didn't I? It was on the. You're on the plane. On the ship. Yeah, on that plane. Ship. <laughs> plane uh -oh. thing. Plane ship. They both move. There you go. Oh, look at that little baby pillow here. Aww. What? Aww. Wait, I want are you guys still living in that plane? We are, yeah, that's where oh, we're God. based out. Oh, yeah, go for him, go for him, go for him. Go for that little guy. He's my son. Yo. Stop, he's my son. He's my son, stop. What, what are you doing? He's so yummy. He just killed my son. He literally just killed him. I bro, hate him. He's inside me now. Bro, your what? son literally tried to kill so. me. Yeah, I had like yeah, seven yeah. things hey, kill me. Yeah. Mm, wait. I've discovered something. Use my big mind. Talk to me. What you, what you discover? Hey, come here, come here. Yo, can you invite Ruby to the team? Also, he's my friend. But look what I got, bro. I got four of these. Damn. That's when we were introduced to their goal in this horror SMP, Aether. It's an OG Minecraft mod that's been around since forever, and Eok's team was under the impression that it was the real end goal for some reason. But after getting to basically no conclusion, we parted ways, heading back to the plane of ours. Finally, we were home. There was also another mechanic that we wanted to test out, which was sleeping, and this is Bream, our scientist, that also tested out the sleeping. But he seemed pretty confident, so we let him do his thing. I took this time to make a chest 
chest plate with some of the resources that I got from down in that cave. Out of nowhere, a world event began, setting coordinates that flashed on some people's screens. But I instantly knew we needed to get there before the other survivor teams did, even though we had no idea what was waiting for us out there. Getting closer to these coordinates, we discover some weird ruins. It was a tomb waiting for us. Whoa, it's some ruins. Ah! Oh, oh. I almost fell. Shit. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Guys, let the lead scientist go first. I'll tell you what's wrong and right. Oh yeah, this is definitely wrong. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Back to oh. one. Oh, oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There's hella ah, things, there's hella things. And an overwhelming amount of creatures. Oh, oh God. God. Stop running. Get out. There might be spawners. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, no, 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 no. Move, move, move. Everyxon moves on that. Did his soul just come out of him? What the hell? Oh, we got this. We got this. This is a light word. Move in. Move in. Oh, Torch up the place. Help me. Help me. Break it. Break it. Oh, where man, are actually, you? I'm, I'm stuck. The zombies are attacking me. Oh, it's a witch. Don't worry. I'm helping I'm at one heart. I'm actually going to explode. Hold your shield. Hold your shield. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. What the hell is that? Stay strong. Stay strong. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. no way, what is that thing? It's a mummy. Oh, oh the boys have guns, man. Yo, yo, guys, run. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, God. Oh, not a joke. We need help. We need help. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what is that? It's getting me. Uh, it's getting me. You need to go. You need to go. Come on, around the edge. Hey, guys. Uh, you good? No. Hey, yo, charge, charge. Yeah. Oh, oh my shit. god. Hey, man. There's a, there's a thing over there. Do you have tons of like, Dude, half a heart is crazy. Crashed. No. Dream. We managed to fight them off, but two of our teammates were not prepared enough and ended up dying here. After going back up, it already turned into nighttime. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Hello? I'm with it. My son is actually dead. No, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's a man. There's a man. Oh. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> and the long, skinny man was lurking once again. Oh, got the chopstick built. Dude. He managed to kill way too many of us, and after I logged back in, I gained a new year of Slenderman. Bro, bro, when are you, another, is it gone? I think it's yeah. gone, but Evie's dead. <coughs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah, like, we should head back. Hello, hello, hello. You know where you're going? Me? Yeah, you. I don't know. Bruh. Wait, where's your base? We decided to head to the nearest civilization to get some protection, which ended up being Eok's base. But we headed back to make some food as we were running pretty low on that. I got my first tarot card from that structure we came back from, which gives me infinite regeneration and hope. All throughout this, Herobrine has been haunting us, breaking blocks, scaring us, and talking, and taking over our farm animals. We had a serious problem that slow by slow was getting worse and worse. We continued to the farms and Eok tried to talk to me into some promised land gumbo jumbo. Adrian's. Hmm? What's up? Um, I'm afraid I can't. Oh, sorry to make you. I'm afraid I can't go along with your plan. Why? to work. Because a voice, it spoke to me. It said, it told me to find the promised land. I, mean, I need to go find the promised land. I can't, I can't be wasting time farming bread. What's that Every mean? Second, the promised land, Adrian. It's out there. A land where everything's just gonna be fine. Great, amazing. Hmm. Like, wait, you don't suddenly get hit by blindness. Random. But I'm not sure I trust him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go save my people. I don't know about you, but I think uh, that's okay, a ghost. Okay, man. To you. Goodbye. My vents, he has a history to being against me, so I kept my guard up around him. This whole place makes me feel really uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to be here a second longer than I have to. You, you need to get to the promised land. Where's the promise line? Uh, Il Coker's team, they're trying to get to the promise line. And I know, I, I had visions. I had visions of how to get there. You gotta get glowstone, okay? Glowstone, 11, 11 glowstone blocks, okay? You're gonna form them into a nether portal. And then you're uh -huh. gonna put water instead of fire. Uh -huh. it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Please. 
Please, I'll, I'll like... try looking for Averix told me that I needed to go to the promised lands, aka the nether. The whole plane team was also given this same request. However, Kevin thought it wasn't the end of the server. To her, she knew it as a way to skip progression. Us going to the aether would speed up the difficulty of the world. We aren't even that strong yet ourselves. We still get packed by random things like Slenderman. I realized the people I met were starting to lose their minds. And honestly, who could really blame them? Have you seen how creepy this mod pack is? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of plain people. Yeah. I'm thinking in a bit, it might be better just to go off on her own. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not 100%. How you feel about the, the plane crew we got going on right now? I like Crass. Okay. They're very helpful. Evie, Evie's kind of in charge of the plane right now. Oh, dinner. I don't really have much of an opinion on oh, wait, literally anyone else. Mm. But I like Cross. I see. And Eopoke left. He said he's going to get to the promised land or whatever the hell. <laughs> <laughs> he was oh, on yeah, a boat. He went on a boat and left. <laughs> yeah. That's something. Yo, Adrian. Yo, yo, what's up? <laughs> you made it, bruh. Finally. Are you like the place? You converted Someone the plane. Infected. Have you it's even not explored that. yet? Uh, you see, well, exploring is kind of hard. Yo, what's up, Cross? We're thinking we might evacuate pretty soon. I don't know how soon, but we need food first. That's a lot of food, but we're gonna need like 64. We, there's a lot of walking that needs to be done. So my team and I ventured into the unknown, searching for the border in order to find an escape from this island. We made it to the snow, but our sanity was dangerously low. Please, I'm seeing things, I'm hearing things. We need to camp. Oh God, everything's black and white. What the hell was that? So we made some campfires to restore it before we went any further. We also discovered more land and saw some weird creatures. I also spotted a nearby water structure, which had lots of loot for us, including some enchantments and even golden apples. Kevin found two backpacks there and was kind enough to also spare me one. We had each other's backs. Afterwards, we explored the fire structure we saw, hoping to get some more gear. And not too long later, we found a settlement. Whoa. Whoa. You guys want to live here? Hell yeah. yeah. I don't even see it yet. Like, that removes my building to like 90, what is this? less than 90%. Oh, oh yeah. damn. Okay. Now I see it. <laughs> oh, good heavens. They're here. The spawners try, try not to break, yeah. try not to break the place. Oh, they're in like full diamond. What the hell? Damn. Damn. Instant upgrades. Oh my God. Look at this place. Oh, this is fire. Hold on. We go this way. Ow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, it's waves. There's waves of zombies we gotta defeat to take this place over. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jesus. I need to make a shield. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous. Anything up here? An arrow. That's so cool. Wait, I wanna get up there. This place was full of knights in armor and waves of them. If we wanted to conquer this castle, we'd have to annihilate them. Damn. Oh. I call dibs on this tower. Yeah, I call dibs on this tower. Can I be your roommate? Maybe. All right. Cool. Depends on how roomy this place is. I mean, we're all living here, so you should probably pick a spot. Don't you want your own spot? You want to decorate or anything? Uh, I don't know, man. I just got here into this tower and I haven't really explored it a lot. I haven't found anything. My sanity is not looking too good. Here we go. Okay. Finally, they were dealt with. We had all agreed to set up our base there for now. I got myself a room, found a villager, and claimed the biggest tower there. It was officially ours for the taking. Honestly, it seems like a big upgrade from plane to castle. The teams right now consisted of Evie's plane team, Kevin's Neo plane team, and Eok's promised land nation thingamajig. My team decided to make a gigantic wall, seeing as we didn't want to be raided or infested with any of the creatures out there we we're gonna need this especially during raids that happen every once in a while after using the trump method against the monsters outside stumbled upon a village and we stole a chicken from there and brought it back to the base i'll be calling you my little trophy Should probably make a butcher room that'd be kind of cool wouldn't it arriving back the base looked a little bit different it was spreading and spreading fast the same spores that was at the plane site we used to live in was growing here rent free our entire base was covered in infected spores and we needed to find out what's causing this. It was a creature that looked like it came from the depths of little nightmares. But we stood our ground. Can't make it break stuff. Hey, this is too close. This is too close to the base. I'm, I'm trying to get it away, but it just keeps hitting me still. I'm about to die again if I don't eat, bruh. There we go. Hit him. All right, so the aggro saw me, so I'm just going to keep going around it. Yeah. If I don't He's die. so low. I think a few more hits. Ow. 
It's doing something. I keep hearing this weird noise. Might be my sword. <gasps> you get him? Oh my we god, got wait, him. Oh, break, break this, break Thankfully this, break this. for us, the spore infection stopped and got delayed the moment we killed that beast. But we couldn't rest because right then and there, it turned night. And one of the worst nights it possibly could have been. A blood moon. What the hell? Wither scuttler. What's going on? Um... the hell? You okay? There's like a blood moon thing going on. I don't really know what it does. Oh, what the hell? Despite the fact that it was a blood moon, we went out and found Marco again. We couldn't lose him to the woods like we did our leader, Jenny. After being rescued from the ship he was on, we caught up with him to see what he's been up to on our way back to my team's base. So if we just go over this way, I think we should be near it. Yeah, I'm starting to see some of the torches. Uh, we're basically picking sick. out rooms and stuff. You wanna, I, don't, I don't really know if you wanted to pick out your own place or you wanted to live with me. It's up to you. I'll live with you if you want. This weirdo wanted to live with me and he made a hammock. Finally, he did something worthwhile while this event debating on what to do we decided to mine down since we really needed some upgrades to the armor and weapons we've been using so far diving down deep into these caverns i was looking for ores leading me and marco to splitting up entering further i came across these diamond termites he got baited and jumped by the bugs these termites drop little diamond pieces that you can craft into actual diamonds he and okram came across a suspicious looking area it turned out to be a bone dungeon this dungeon had a windigo in it and a horde of monsters. I was hesitant to even go inside of it. This was all happening all while I'm trying to keep my sanity up. There's so many monsters. It's actually not even Can't see. Can't see a thing. Yes, more diamonds. Fire. Um. Yo, what, what is this? Chest on this side. Side. Oh, chest. Okay, lapis. I'll still take it. What is lock? No way. Dude, I'm rich. Oh, hell no, bruh. Leave me alone. 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 One more chest, please. Please, one more, one more chest before my death. One more chest before my death. I had died. My second death, down to only two lives remaining. I was just reminded how unforgiving this world could really be. There is no way a mere death can stop me. I went to get some water and saw a sheep I could kill for wool, but it kept multiplying and decreasing my sanity to the point where I had to run back to the base just so I don't go insane. In order to expand my base with some furniture, I had to go on an expedition for clay. Yeah, I'm risking my life for some cosmetics. Can't say I regret it. Just look at this place. Very worth it. My good but not really friend, Okram dragged me along with him to go explore. It was dangerous, but he promised me it was going to be worth my time. Where are you taking me, dude, man? I could have been building. I could have been being happy. You can still be happy, bro. But with me. Oh, kidding. I'm kidding. We, oh God, are we moving? Oh, what are those? This already does not look like fun. You brought me right into a cursed strong? dungeon. If we get close enough, we can see their uh, health bar. Go down. I'll be spawners. Every second we wait here, there's more spawning. What are these guys? Oh, the witchers? The witches. The hell did I just get? A wither stone? What? They wither you? Oh, hell not chill. Yo, go back to Marco, bro. Y'all are pretty fast. Give you that much. Oh, my God. We found an anvil, some lava, and obsidian for our nether portal. We realized that Eok's army was constantly growing, so we ended up recruiting Evie, which was part of the old link team, along with their entire cult, to hopefully balance out the playing field. After teaching them the basics of our team, Reem tells me about some weird glowing eye things that he had and thought we should explore. How much? I'm making extensions to my room. I just wanted a bit more space. So we have a problem. There might be an army of wide-eyed sheep coming to the base. What? Yes. I don't know if they're here or not. What, what do you mean? They're not... I think your chick is a part of it, too. He doesn't have white... He used to have white eyes, but I cured him. I'm a little insane, you see, so I can't really tell. Oh, can I, can I see these sheep? Well, we gotta go down a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's I'm jump. trying to get villagers. Oh my god, my villager! No, is he dead? No, he's just fine. You see, I'm trying to breed them, but, um... Uh, Whoa, is this Ninzai's tower? Yeah, I think it is. That's sick. 
I don't know where they are right now. I should just go with them. Oh but god. They're, yeah, they're somewhere in that direction. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Like, uh, I found I found a snake yesterday. Bro, I got mm -hmm. two blocks of diamond. Damn, I found one block of diamond. Not in a sphinx though, but in like this marble dungeon. That's how I got my diamond is, stuff. Is it in sand? No, it was marble. Well, there's a big, marble there's or like big, quartz like, or something. Uh, there's a big pit. Like mm -hmm. it's really, really big. And I, I died. Um, it's, it's close here. I want to check it out, but I haven't done it yet. I'm trying to get the villagers first. Yeah. And maybe we can go with the group. Because I know we got the old plane people back too. And they're like building up on the mountain next to us. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're teamed with us. Oh, we have a problem. What just happened? Suicide bomber. Let's build this up. What? That's a thing? Yeah. No, it's a creeper. That's what I like to call him. It's the same. Oh. A weird sheep army also showed up in our way. We just wanted to check it out, but someone or something ended up blowing up the wall. Not sure we can really trust things anymore. Not even the wall could protect us. I headed back home to give my room some finishing touches. After working on my room for a while, I went out on the balcony for some fresh air. But I was greeted by Crass, who is now a butcher, and Big Bream maniacally laughing. Needless to say, I went back inside and completely completed my room. I had just finished the nether portal when Crast approached me and suggested yet another risky adventure. But with me only having one life left, I couldn't chicken out like I did with my dentist. And in this expedition, we ended up finding a crypt, which gave us some more diamonds and another tarot card. Inside this spine-chilling ancient tomb, two of our teammates lost their lives. They luckily escaped and got out scuff-free. Me and Brog went further down, where we found a passcode protected door. Right? Okay. I think we need to figure out the puzzle. There's a puzzle. And it'll lead us to the pharaoh. Oh, I know. It's one of these ones. We have to get them all lit up. They work. I do not know. Aren't you a team scientist? Be able to figure it out. Yeah. My expertise are in um, biochemology. Biochemology. Whatever it's called. <laughs> Hold on, listen. We put some on the punch plates. Eventually, once. Is the aim oh. to get them all on? Maybe. What if we uh just light them all up? Like with a lever. Yeah, I mean, where can we get a lever? We can't write nothing. I don't got wood. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, is this in here? It's not. It's all lit up now. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, is there a code? No clue what it could have been. We tried brute forcing it. It didn't take too long before we guessed it, and now it was time for action. We entered the main room, looted everything we could in here, and killed the pharaoh who guarded the goodies. I once again went home to catch a break and plan out my next goal. Although I did see the wise wood while I was on my way back, before I could even have a good rest, Okram and I decided to go on a duo adventure for old time's sake. We ended up discovering another underground layer with tons Tons of beautiful looking crystals, many diamonds, and even some lost maps. I couldn't help myself to not take some of those crystals home. They were pretty and could be used as decoration. Plus, they kind of change colors, so I consider them RGB. Who could resist that? After getting over the fabulous cave, I also found a tarot card, which gave me immunity to fall damage. Might turn out to be useful in the future. It looks like the weather, Kinda does. Oh, oh, oh yeah, God, someone bro. stole my weather skeleton skulls. I can summon the weather and they're gone now. One of you thugs took it. I know what you did. Oh my gosh. Um, we need, um, we need the nether star to activate this guy. Oh, we needed a nether star to summon it, meaning we would have to fight the hardest boss in vanilla Minecraft, the wither. Without much of a choice, we headed back, got the stuff, geared up a little bit, and prepared ourselves mentally for the fight. And despite even knowing the risk, I summoned the wither and braced myself. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. We're just oh. lagging horribly. Yes, I did. Look at me. I got put on the arm. You don't. Yeah, that's not bad. No, Jefferson. Jefferson got blown up by the wither. But me and Oak managed to finish the battle and get myself the nether star. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. It's okay. We have our scientists. Can't lose with them around. Yeah, I got a boat. This is gonna, that's how we're going to lose. That's how we're going to win. We're going to put on a boat. You didn't summon it, did you? <laughs> oh, oh, that's fine! Oh, awesome. You liar! Oh. Unicorn Damn. glitch. I kind of want one of these engines. Can I break these? Ow! Oh, oh he burns God. you! Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, wait, wait. If you just run away, if you just run away because it's on you, we can shoot him while you run. Damn. He shoots missiles. I'm almost dead. Oh, this is bad. Get him, get him, get him! Yeah! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. My sanity. I didn't get anything. Did anyone have a campfire? Krim also died for the first time soon after as well, leaving him with only two lives remaining. It was now time for more boss fighting. Taking a break is for losers. Reem had these weird eye things, taking us to a snowy biome and to an ocean temple that we decided to loot. I ran up to the ship at the top because I thought it was part of the build, but it wasn't. I ended up taking a deep breath and we entered the dungeon. Filled with gross, sluggish, watery monsters that made me feel sick to the stomach. We made our way to the middle where we placed some doors to catch our breath before Bream summoned the Leviathan, which we of course had to fight because why would anything on this planet be friendly? It's right underneath oh, us. I know. Bing. He's not Is a it... good puppy. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Bad puppy, bad. Why so ugly? That's me. Don't call it that. I'm gonna anger it. bit into you. It bit into you. I'm going in. Man. Oh! About to die. We got it! It's After fighting a long, gruesome, and frankly disgusting battle, we succeeded in killing the oversized fish. Although some of her comrades sadly ended up dying. We got the Leviathan egg and a grappling hook as a reward for slaying him. I ended up keeping it because I was the one that picked it up. Dream wanted the egg and told me that I could keep the grapple if I gave him the egg, so I agreed. Literally no reason to come in between a man and his weird obsession with fish. One of our allies sends us coordinates to Eok's base, so we decided to pay them a little bit of a visit. It's been a while, my long lost friend, enemy? I don't even know at this point. Soon as Eok's team came back, we ambushed them and got into an argument. We tried explaining to them why and how Herobrine was real, but they refused to believe any evidence calling us Herobrine worshippers. With nothing seeming to work, we resorted to our last option, a fight. It's been a while, Eopoke. Hey, how do you, why do you guys attack our portal? I didn't do oh, that. Oh god. That wasn't me. That was like easy to win. just magically yeah. got a sign that said Big Bream, like, Thank was you, here son. or whatever. Bream, did you destroy uh -huh. his portal? Uh huh. Big Bream, I mean, there's really them a all. sign where you admitted to breaking our portal. Hey now. Why first should off, we kill him right where's now? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Second of all, uh, I need a lore. Third of all, you need to go to court for this. Don't know what you're talking about. Why should I just kill him right now? Like, Whoa, chill. Listen, guys, listen. What guys can you offer? What can you guys possibly offer? You come in here. We're not here to offer you anything. We're here to talk to you. I got you. I got you. Talk about what? Talk about what? You're you're following a false prophet. False prophet. What does that mean? Terrorbrine. He ain't real, bro. He ain't real. All right. He is real, dude. We've seen him countless times. Lies. What? I was talking. I was affecting all of you. Drake. Drake was up. He was up. Me and Terrorbrine were talking to Drake too. Like, yeah, that's God's plan. You guys say we're following a false promise, but like, what about you guys? You guys are looking for the Aether. Plan. You see God's plan. Bro, I have a question. Where did this Aether thing even come from? Who told you about it? The heavens. The heavens. The heavens. Uh, that doesn't heavens. sound crazy. Okay, okay, no, okay. You're, You're not, not a prophet, bro. You're not a prophet, bro. Only prophet is Muhammad, bro. Get, get out of here. Yeah. The yeah. Aether does not exist. exist. <laughs> the thing is, though, we were both on that plane, and that plane was infested with spores. Doesn't that mean you guys have spores too? Yeah. But we're not the ones seeing people. <laughs> okay, seeing okay. things. Yeah. But you're yes, you do. You're, you're seeing the Aether. Yeah, you're talking about the Aether. You saw it. You know it lying. exists. We have proof. The we have proof. Where, where's the proof? Show us your the proof. The spores are. The it's the. It's the, the prophets. It's the, the prophets. Of the spores. If you go so there, there is the spores no are going to eat you. 
There is physical proof. What was that? What was that? Oh. Uh, so what is you that? Guys that right? huh? you guys wait, what wait, is wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. Um, oh yeah. I'm gonna have that I'm gonna have that Okay. My face, drop him. It's, it's nothing. There's nothing there. I don't know what you mean. I don't see anyone. Wait, what's that? I don't know. You guys didn't see your brain flash? It's a magic, yeah, it's a magic well, they trick. They just it's don't a magic trick. <laughs> you're seeing things, you're just seeing you things. Shrine doesn't mean that, like, exactly, dude. It's wild to believe in hero brand is to believe in fairy tales. Yeah. I don't you're, think this is a good idea, is, man. The hate there's a fairy tale. You're going off of what an entity has told you. You have no proof that it's you're, real. Uh, you have proof that you think it's real. You just, Wait, where's, where's you, you, you claim, you claim you saw a new figure appear out of thin air. Where, where does that come from? Please enlighten us. That, that the guy who just spawned in. in it's, it's real, bro. Uh, All right, you know what? Was here. Regardless, we're here to stop you from getting any glowstone, okay? That's what we're here for. Yeah. Oh. I don't, know, man. I don't want them getting any glowstone. They're talking about some... Oh. I don't either. I don't either. Oh. Did he just... Oh, what? I think your leader up, just left you, buddy. No, no. Bye-bye, guys. Oh. Oh, the they hell? teleported out. They teleported out. No, <gasps> Bream! Bream! Firebone took Bream down. Bream! Dude, what do we do? All right, let's 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 follow <laughs> Yopoke. He's our leader. It's a safe bet to say that the Aether is actually a safe haven. I don't know, guys. If That's you, just as safe as saying Herobrine's a safe haven. Hey, okay, okay. We lived up hey, until now. Away. All right? We away. didn't do anything. Your Jeez. teammate just killed ours. You attacked us, bro. Green you attacked dead. us. You put a bazooka, bro. What do you think okay, you attacked us? Okay. You should aim a bazooka at us. Let's not do anything rash and uh, rational, whoa, okay? Whoa, we can talk about what this. What even is that, bro? I don't we, know, we bro. Talk. I don't know if we can talk about this. We can, we can. Put the bomb down, bro. Oh. There they go. There they are. I help them. No. Herobrine's messing with you. Herobrine, he's yeah, not he went, real. He fake he's not bro. real. I got him, I got him, he's withered. Bro, bro, calm down. Calm down. Crazy. Hey, Adrian. Hello. Is this is the Pokemon fight. It's Pokemon fight. Oh my god, okay? dude. Yeah, come over here. <laughs> this is what you get for it. So Hell yeah, no, man. Come over here, now come back. Okay. Damn. Damn. But we snapped back and killed Kawuski, one of their members. We retreated as we didn't want to take any more losses and began planning what we would do. Listen, listen, man. Hmm? Can't you see these spores are making you violent? We only wish for yourself. There are no spores! <laughs> we already the killed the spore the boss! Back off, back off. Back it looks like a gauntlet of yours, bro. It's demonic. What? Back we, off. we don't, but your thing is just as imaginary. But we can prove it. We can prove that's real. But even if it is, it'll ruin our world. It'll just make it harder. Because it's going to kill every new player that joins. And us, we're not even that strong yet. We've got to prioritize the ones that are alive before the ones that... No, personally, I like my life. Me too. And okay. you playing with the Aether is going to make it harder. The Aether has flying clouds, flying little whales. I don't think we can stop can them. Kisses. What if we go with them? Mm -hmm. And if it's too much, we kill them and we come back. But if they open Ooh. the aether, that's still gonna make our world worse. Yeah. We can close the it. The woods are west. Look around. The trees scream at you when you walk by. That's not true. That's in your head. That's my head. Okay. That's not a bad idea, to be honest. I disagree. If that's a pretty wrong, bad idea. Wrong, but if we're right, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna get. Yeah. What else would you do? We have, we have nothing to lose. We're just trying to show you. Any better right idea? <laughs> All right, fine, fine. We'll we'll go with you guys. We'll go with you guys. Make sure this thing's real. Make sure this thing's okay. You guys cool with that? Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Brock wanted to join them and be there when they ruined the world. But that's not going to happen as long as we're alive, right? Oh, I did, I did something. It was Ignis. That is not a good boss. Yo, holy oh, crap. Do that, do that, do that. Nice. Let's <laughs> shoot that. Yeah. You gotta lock in. Damn. Get him. Get him. What was that? 
Yes. Oh my yes. God. Oh my we had a few of these powders since Brog had been stacking up on them. So we began to fight it a few times. I knew once I got back home, I can make some fire armor with this. Alongside this, we explored a bit of the nether, finding a nether castle. Killed some mobs for blaze rods, but my sanity was very low, especially in this dimension. So I had to head back home a little early. Eel tried making an aether portal, but he clearly didn't see enough of those 2013 videos because that fool somehow failed. Giving us a little bit more time to prepare. Dream showed me his base. Baby, Drake looking thing. It was the Leviathan, which he had been raising. How'd you get it to work? We kissed it. We kissed it. No way, bro. All right. Let's go, guys. All right, whatever. I'm down to go. Be careful for the heaven guy. Big step for humanity. Look at this. Look how pretty this looks. Look at this cute bunny. Look at this cute they are. That's not friendly. He's not friendly. No, he's nice. Okay, you just. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh this is goodness. not heaven. This is yes, not paradise, is. Adrian. This is not paradise. Yo, there's it's gas absolutely. blowing up everywhere. What is going on? Uh, it's, it's, it's beating us. It's beating us. Jesus, okay. Golden parachute. Hey, little guy. Oh my god. What happened to the portal? Hey, bro. They tricked us. What? We're stuck here. Oh god. Dude, stupid slime, man. It turns out they lied to us. The heaven they promised was entirely fake, which wasn't good news to us at all. In the Aether, we kept getting attacked by hostile monsters that they tried convincing us was friendly. And despite their best efforts trying to convince everyone in my team, we ended up falling off of the islands, floating down back to Earth. After all this madness, it's finally time for an overdue break. Me and Ogram have been finding structures all over the place, and now this, we decided to chill at our base just to take our mind off of it you know the horror stuff isn't the only things this mod pack has i decided to spend a couple hours making a butcher house not too much of a reason as to why but we had too many animals you know and not enough harvesting so why not totally not just trying to make an excuse for making one of these even though it was nice while it lasted the break was over and it was time for more dangerous exploring we end up finding a mushy yellow biome with a really cool looking bastion that we soon realized went deep underground without wasting any time we got to looting like there was no tomorrow trying to find as much netherite as we possibly could to upgrade our gear after that we found a soul blacksmith which housed this boss called the netherite monstrosity which sounded interesting but i wanted to kill it before we left sadly or maybe luckily for us the creature suffocated itself in the walls and dropped two hammers of doom or at least that's what i like to call them can't complain too much though it's free loot our current goal was reaching the end so we started trading with the piglins for ender pearls we got enough of what we needed and headed back to the overworld i crafted the eyes of ender and began throwing them like the honey buns thrown at homeless people we also passed by the crash plane once again look at this place bro head to the plane for safety this used to be our home Home. Actually, I never asked. Like, what happened to it? Why is it all blown up? Fungal infection. That's what happened to it. This place honestly brought back quite a bit of memories. Before I entered the stronghold, I crafted some netherite gear because you can never be too sure anymore, especially with this mod pack. Who knew what the end was gonna be like? We got into the stronghold, found the portal frame, filled it up with eyes, and took a leap of faith into another dimension. Entering the end made me realize just how far I've come and how many challenges I've conquered. This was just yet another step to reach the top we started by killing the endermen who stood in our way taking down the crystals on top of the towers one by one until there was none left and the dragon was stuck with us and no other help not really too hard to guess what happened next oh I'm good i'm good i'm good i'm shooting him he's back he's back hit him he's almost dead oh yeah puppy oh, oh, yeah, puppy. oh. oh. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on. I'm gonna get him with this. Look, I got it. So done with this place, bro. We have to get to the, the end. I want to get an elytra and we can leave. That's all I need left. Can we get two? After acquiring the egg, we went to the end cities and started searching for an elytra. Before I can make an elytra, I found something that looked like an end city, but not really. So I decided to explore it. What the absolute inside of it was an ender guardian another boss that was located here in the end it's up ow i'm killing it with one final move got him, got him. i got him bro i got him what did he drop void ruins oh that's cool oh, yo drop that let me try it out let me try it out 
I want to which we quickly took care of and got tons of tarot cards from, making us even stronger than we were before. All I still needed was an elytra though. And finally we found an end city with the end city ship at the very top. At last, I got my elytra and also ripped the head off of this ship. I conquered all the dimensions, starting from the overworld in all of its caves and sickening waters to the nether, which made me fear for my life many times. And now I conquered the end. We don't talk about the either because we're anti either It's just a myth, okay? I swear. We went back home and I placed my dragon head down as a sign of what I've accomplished.